I first heard about the STEM program, I was excited. The STEM program is very important in my school uh, because all along we have been struggling to improve the attitude of students in mathematics and uh, sciences. When I first heard about the STEM program, I thought it was something that was promoting the sciences and mathematics in the girl child education in Kenya. Because most of the girls, they think it is difficult. And so I thought this was one of the ways that we are going to help them to love the subjects. Back in the day, science was a complex bit for girls because they could not understand the relationship between the working environment and the syllabus they are covering in class. There were two disconnect points. There's a problem with girls taking sciences because I think the, the, the society, the way it is, it's, uh, you know, sciences are seen as a man's field. In UNESCO, we have this slogan that science needs women and women need science. We believe that the involvement of women in sciences would actually even increase, fasten, facilitate the country's development. <laughs> 2015, four students attended a scientific camp of excellence at Kisumu Girls. Okay, the blood cells. Which one can you use? Very good. When the girls came back, they requested the school administration to be allowed to start a club with the aim of mentoring girls to take up sciences. And that's how we started the club. Currently, it's serving 46 students drawn from all the classes. Quite a number of students have now started consulting with teachers for physics, mathematics, uh, biology, and chemistry. And consequently, there is a remarkable improvement in their performance. My favorite subject is mathematics because I have a passion for it. It motivates me to work passionately for it and think critically because I know as a woman, I will, I'm going to deal with critical issues in life. I am very determined to pursue a science-related course because science is life. My teacher always tells me that if you do what you love, you do it to your best. So if you love science, then you can do it just as well as the boy child can do. Personally, I have an interest in a career that is based on the sciences. So that is why it's popular to me. If girls take the initiative to do the subjects, it will actually reduce the gap between the boys doing the STEM subjects and the girls. When you change your mind, then you can do it. And that's the only thing that the girl child needs to know to be able to pursue a science-related course. The changes I've seen in the students since taking up the program is more awareness of the need to be excellent in these subjects. The girls initially thought that it was just a subject like any other. But now we expose them to women who have succeeded, women who are engineers, and they feel they are capable. The main idea behind the STEM mentorship camps is actually to have women role models in these fields. These same women scientists and engineers are supposed to show the students the importance of their professions to the country's economic development. Being a mentor in the STEM program involves exposing the girls to what it takes to go through such programs at the university and most importantly demystifying what STEM is all about. We included the life skills and survival techniques components in the, the, the mentorship program. Why? Because it's not just reading. I mean, these are human beings. They have personal issues to deal with. Some of them don't even know how to study. They're growing up. They're teenagers. And so a lot of things that they're dealing with also need to be addressed. 
the way the program is structured and what we are doing, we were able to convince the Ministry of Education that this is a good program to the extent that, you know, the peers say this is a very important program, a very good initiative, you know, from UNESCO. And they went to the point of having a budget for it, which wasn't there before. How does your ministry and specifically your department feel about this UNESCO initiative? Our feeling as a ministry and more specifically as the State Department of Science and Technology is that we encourage UNESCO to strengthen this initiative, to scale it up and to include more counties, more schools and more girls. Nakosti also came on board because of being the commission for science, technology and innovation in the country. It is in their interest that um, they support a program that inspires girls. Our role in this program is we are on it for a long haul. If you concentrate only on one gender, it might be counterproductive. But this is something I would want to see that STEM program is encouraged all along. Specifically, this country, if it has to grow, we have to concentrate on science, technology, and innovation. Our vision 2030 recognize science, technology, innovation to be the bedrock of our development. We have just introduced a tool to monitor the impact of the STEM program in the uptake of the STEM by the girls. So until that tool is operationalized, that's the only time we'll be able to see whether it has had an impact. My recommendation is to have more of the, the mentorship programs for the students and also the in-service trainings for the teachers, especially the science teachers, because they're the ones who are handling the science subjects in school and that will enable them to amalgamate the content in class and the technology bit in the working environment. The future of the STEM program in the school is very promising. This program, I believe, will go far in assisting the students. And uh, I'm seeing a situation that it will now become part and parcel of the strategies that we use to improve performance of the students. Our activities are being supported fully and the students are excited about the program. That has given us a soft ground to make the program grow. To us as Nakosti, it would be very ideal that we are building a society as part of the promotion of science which is inclusive. You don't want a situation where you look at the employment statistics and it's more just skewed towards them, you know, the males. We want a situation where both gender are there and they're bringing in what they're good at. I feel that with this program, the girls are empowered they are focused, they know what they want, they have identified the careers that tie up with this program. I think the girls will succeed. I feel very much empowered to take up science subjects. Having attended the STEM program, I'm very much empowered to go into the science-related course. I really feel empowered because even my fellow students, I do encourage them, I do tell them that if you do these sciences, they will really help you and I can see a change. My personal wishes for the girls is that they study with a focus that they want to join the university. They have to go beyond just uh, you know, their, their secondary school level. They have to be achievers, and so they must study to pass. And then they have to have a goal. The goal is, what do I want to be? Break the ceiling. Be the engineer that I can be. Be the scientist that I can be. Be anything that I want to be. Let the sky not be the limit. Break that ceiling. When I grow older, I would like to pursue computer science. I want to pursue electrical engineering. I want to become a control surveyor. I want to be an electrical engineer. I want to be a statistician. I want to be a software engineer. I would like to be a biomedical engineer. I want to be a financial engineer. I would like to be an aeronautical engineer.